Hello everyone, how do you do? This is project how to do, my name is Konstantin and today we are going to look at soldering station from KSGER with soldering tips T12. Before we begin I want to say that I never use soldering station like this one. All my life I used regular soldering iron or those kind of cheap station with 900M tips. And to be honest it works totally fine for my purpose. But when I have a chance to get my hands on this station, I was wondering if I could notice the big difference. And I did. Let's start. Station came in a good packaging. Inside I found soldering station itself, 3 T12 tips and handle with pretty long cable, about 1.2 meters. Station is very light, it's only about 330 grams. Solid plastic body, encoder, connector, fuse and power switch. Let's turn it on. When I plug it in it starts heating immediately and I was shocked. It took only 9 seconds to heat from room temperature to 300 degrees celsius. That's impressive. Let's take a further look. Long press to encoder bring you to settings. There is you can find lots of stuff such as standby mode which could activate if you don't touch the handle for some time, sleeping after some time, boost mode, you can choose tips you usually using, you can set the password, turn on or off buzzer, show the voltage of power supply, language, time and all the stuff. What I really like is short distance between place where you hold the handle and that's your solder. That gives you a lot more control of what you're doing. What I don't like is the weight of the handle. It works like a lever arm and you have to move uh, one meter of cable along with the handle. So I recommend to look for a different one. I already found few, uh, links will be in the description. After using it for a week and compared to my previous soldering station, I want to say that I really like it. Uh, it holds temperature very well. For example this 2mm copper wire and when I solder it it feels like nothing. Like using huge 100W soldering iron. And at the same time you can do high precision NCMD components as well. I can recommend this station for anyone who wants to move to different quality level of soldering. That's all I have for today. See you next time.